Greetings all, Fanny here for Taurus's weekly message. Taurus, I hope you guys are having a good week and you're having a good Taurus season. Thank you all for the beautiful birthday messages yesterday and this week, this past weekend. I really appreciate it. Taurus, we are coming into a beautiful time. You have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups coming in together. And if there is a more beautiful pair, I would like to see someone try. The Ten of Cups speaks of emotional fulfillment, security, and happiness, as well as being able to feel all of your emotions. Each one of those cups is a different kind of emotion. Happiness, sadness, joy, fear, anger, and laughter. And a lot of people want to reject those other less pretty to feel emotions because of the effect it has on us. But my love, emotions are energy in motion. They have an effect on us and most importantly deserve to be recognized. And when you don't recognize them, you close yourself off, you close off your heart and create this guarded, jaded personality and ego of not wanting to let anyone close or feel vulnerable because of the fear of those powerful emotions coming up and coming out in burst because my love if it is energy and motions and you do not allow yourself to feel it it cannot go anywhere and then it sits in your chakras becoming blockages becoming ailments becoming physical pain you don't realize this so often the trauma the hurt and the emotions that we carry that are not recognized acknowledged and integrated they seed themselves into our chakra points and become points of pain because the negative emotions, the low vibrational energies has nowhere to go because you're not expressing it. You're not verbalizing it. You're not moving it out in the ways of Reiki. It, you, you, these are why we have to speak about ourselves. We have to speak about our emotions. It's not to whinge or to complain or to make the world feel bad for us. It's so that we get out that toxicity from ourselves and admitting that we can't do everything. Admitting that we are not whole and that there is a point to sharing your love and life with someone else. But so often we are jaded and hurt and we are so afraid to open ourselves to that love because we think it's never going to happen again. Yeah, because we were constantly having to fight and protect ourselves. But again, you're constantly having to fight and protect yourself because you are always looking for the person coming to hurt you. You're always looking for the next aggressor. And that is how the Wheel of Fortune works. That's how manifestation works. Everything that you're focusing on is only amplified and returned to you, my love. Focus on the different things. And I'm not saying ignoring the problems of your world, ignoring the problems of the life. I'm saying don't make that your 100% hyper focus because then that will be the only thing that you see. Yes, be aware that other things are occurring and be aware that there are problems. I am not saying toxic positivity, but I'm also not saying toxic negativity. It is fight or flight for a reason, and we are so often focused on what is going to hurt us that that is all we see. That's why negative emotions and negative acts make such a heavier impact than positive ones. And that is so sad, but it is so true. So to transverse this, to actively vibrate at a higher level, to see the good, to see the beautiful, it is difficult at the beginning, but when you start to make the, that a conscious choice every single day of like, yes, okay, I had a really shitty morning. However, that was a really cute dog I saw on the side of the road, or the way that bird was just walking just made me laugh because it was going along with the music that was inside my head. The smallest things are what matters, my love, because it is A, showing your brain that we can focus on something more than everything horrible that is going on, and B, is also an indicator to spirit that you are actively looking for the blessings, that you are actively looking for the good that can be occurring in your life, and how the law of attraction and manifestation works, my love, is everything that they see 
your focus on, what you are saying, speaking, and feeling is amplified and sent back to you. And so when they see you are recognizing the blessings, the smallest things, when you pull yourself out of your head and enjoy the present moment, they are able to send more blessings to you because they see you acknowledge the ones you already have. It is like, as an artist, if I spent so long on an, an art piece for you or making something in my shop on my website and you don't appreciate it and you you ostracize it and scorn it and i mean there's a difference between criticism and just being an asshole i will not waste my time and energy on someone who does not appreciate the work that i am doing for them and spirit is the exact same way. If they do not, if you do not appreciate the work and the blessing that they have already done in your life, and you're constantly saying, oh, my life is so shit, my life is so shit, well, they're going to continue to send you the shit. But if you do take even the smallest acknowledgement of, my child got to eat today. They came home from school. That is a blessing. As sad as it, as it is that just... The thought of your child being <sighs> different energy, not what's going on right now, my love. You have the shaman in reverse, completion. This is not done. Your story is not done. And so the the guardedness, the, the jadedness has to be released. It has to fall. The walls can crumble and fall away because you are not meant to be isolated like that, my love. Especially my fellow Tereans, how amorous, how emotional, how affectionate they are. They, they love people. They love having people in their life to love. But there is a hurt. Stone people, knowing. Mother knows everything that you have been through, my dear. And mother knows that you did not deserve the hurt. Mother also knows that she can heal you. There is an inherent comfort in speaking to the earth, speaking to the trees, speaking to the crystals around us. Because when we know that that is the connection that we have to our God, our mother, whoever it is you need to talk to, there is the comfort in having that with you all the time. Whether it be the crystals that you carry on your person, a charm you carry on a necklace around you, or something that is in your home that is a reminder of your grandparents, speak to it when you are in trouble, when you are in struggle, and when you are upset. Because I promise you, my love, spirit is always listening, and spirit is always waiting for you to, one, remember your purpose, and to reach out to them, because that is their purpose, to be a loving companion and guide to you. Yeah, the stone people and tree people are here to provide you with help and aid, my love, my Taurus, so please. Allow yourself to be loved again. Allow yourself the healing opportunities that you need to go through to be loved. Because I can understand that if we are in a place now, we cannot accept other people's love because we do not feel like we deserve it or we are not in a place where we are comfortable being that kind of vulnerable. And I am speaking from my own experience on this. So my love, take the time that you need to heal, but also don't neglect the relationships and the people that you have in your life now because they are there for a reason and they already love you more than you know. Have a beautiful day, Taurus.